Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So in today's video, I actually have two separate Bath & Body Works hauls for you. I have one from the single wick candle sale and then one from the soap sale. So I hope you're ready. It's gonna be a lot of fall stuff. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep watching. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna start off with a small bag. This is all the stuff that I got from the single wick candle sale. So I did also get a few things while I was there few extra things while I was there. So Bath & Body Works single wick candles I actually really like because I mostly just burn candles kind of in my bedroom and then in the bathroom so I really don't need to have very very heavy scents. Um, I can go with a single wick and just be fine. So I was ac actually looking at some that I got at the sale for $5.95. So the first one that I got that I'm really excited about is Pumpkin Spice Latte. Now I've heard a few things about this saying that it's like underwhelming, that it's so light you can't even smell it. And first let me read you the notes and I'll tell you what I think. Um, fresh espresso, pumpkin pie spice, but it does say space. A lot of people have had misprints on theirs that say space, mine says space. Uh, whipped cream and a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. So I'll show you guys so you can see where it says space. It's pretty funny, but yeah, I burned this once and I started it out in the bathroom and I definitely could smell it in the bathroom, but once I got to my bedroom, you really couldn't smell it. So I do have to say that this smells exactly like pumpkin, pumpkin spice lattes or yeah, it really does smell like pumpkin spice latte. It smells so good on cold, but it's definitely like a very small room kind of candle so I would maybe even just like combine this in my bedroom with something else so that way you could smell it a little more um, but in the bathroom I definitely could smell it so I might just keep it as a bathroom candle while I like shower and maybe if I take a bath or whatever but yeah it smelled really good in the bathroom I just don't think it's a very heavy throwing single wick the next fall one I got is actually autumn and this was the last one in the store so I was very happy to find that. It is bright red gala apple, juicy fig, and eucalyptus leaf. This to me smells exactly like fall. Like it's kind of crazy how much like fall it smells. Oh, it smells so good and like really fresh. You can definitely get that kind of like fresh apple and fresh fig. It matches me and it's really pretty. Yeah, I don't usually get these like it's not cologne but it kind of is. It's almost like, like sweater weather and flannel. This is kind of what it reminds me of, but I don't usually get those in three wicks because I don't usually burn those that much. I prefer kind of bakery scents, but I got this one because single wick, I'll definitely burn through it, but it smells really good. I can imagine this is gonna be a heavy hitter. So excited about that. And then the last single wick I got is in Champagne Toast. Now I just, I love champagne toast, everything. So I was happy to pick this up on sale. It's bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine with essential oils. And yeah, it just smells like champagne toast. I do think though that in the candle versus the body care, the candle smells a lot more like tangerine. Like I really am getting strong citrusy notes from it, but it still smells really, really good. It still smells like champagne toast, just with a little more citrus. And then I did pick up two of these uh, antibacterial hand sprays in Sunshine and Lemons. This is really like the only scent of these sprays that I like. I don't like any of the other ones. They're too headache inducing for me, but I do need some of these for me and my mom for we're going on a trip soon. So I'm gonna be using this a lot. And then I did also get some fall pocket bags. So I was waiting for my store to get them in to be able to get them all. Um, but yeah, I went pretty ham. So the first one I got is not actually fall related. It is strawberry pound cake. So cute with a little fox holding a strawberry. So cute. I had this in the summer and I really, really enjoyed it. So got it again. And marshmallow pumpkin latte. I don't actually like love this scent in body care, but I'll do it in a pocket bag. So it's pretty good. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this in body care, um, but I will definitely do it in a pocket bag. Again, smells exactly like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Pumpkin apple, which is one of my favorites to be quite honest. Um, 
I don't know why I didn't get this in a candle this year yet, so I might I might be getting it later, but it just smells so like juicy apples. Love it. And then the last one is pumpkin cupcake. I'm also not really the biggest fan of pumpkin cupcake and candles, but in a pocket bag, I could definitely do it. it. Just smells sweet. So those are the five pocket bags I got. And that is it for the first haul that I did. So let's get into what I got during the hand soap sale. So to start it off, I did go into the hand soap sale looking for soaps for myself for the fall for my bathroom and me and my brother share a bathroom. So I had to be a little bit picky. And then um, for the guest bathroom downstairs for my mom and she doesn't really like crazy scents. She really, really loves like the lemony citrusy scents, like the bright scents. So that's mostly what I got for her. And then I'll show you guys what I got for myself. So for her, and she likes the gel ones, by the way. We can't do we can't do foam ones because I'm pretty sure we're allergic. But I did get one just to test it, and if we are, then I'll just give it off to like my aunt or something. Um, but anyways, these are the ones I got for my mom. So first we have Kitchen Lemon, just the plain gentle gel hand soap, zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. We really like this scent. We've had it multiple times, so I know that my mom likes that one. And then we have Fresh Lemonade lemon juice lime twist and sugar crystals it's pretty much smells like kitchen lemon so i knew that she would like that one and then watermelon lemonade which i figured we love those drinks so we love watermelon lemonade drinks so i'm sure that she'll love this watermelon ice sparkling water and meyer lemon let's give it a sniff actually oh yeah that smells really good very tart yeah, so I'm pretty sure that she won't like that. So then for myself, I saw this at the checkout and I just had to get it. Um, it's Love Ya A Latte Whipped Espresso. So like I said, we have before, I, I don't know, this was a while ago when me and my brother were little kids, when we used a um, foam soap from Bath & Body Works, our hands got cracked, they started bleeding. Like it was a really bad allergic reaction. So. I don't know if it was the soap or if it was just something that we ate that day. I still don't know. So I'm going to give this a try and just know for sure once and for all. Um, but yeah, so this one's going to be the trial one, but look how freaking cute it is. If it, if it makes my hands crack, then at least it was cute. And um, the notes on this are espresso bean, creamy vanilla, and whipped sugar. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like coffee. It straight up smells like coffee. So very excited to try that. And then I will know definitively if I am allergic to the foam ones. So, and then I got three for my bathroom. So the first one I got, I'm not sure if my brother's gonna like this. So I might have to set something out while I have this in there, but sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I couldn't pass up on it. I just really wanted it. Um, it's harvest pumpkin, spice clove, and sugar cane. I do think though that like the hand soap in sweet cinnamon pumpkin is, it's like enough, enough like bubbliness that it's not just straight pumpkin, you know? So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if he allows this scent, but if he doesn't like it, I'll just put something else out for him. But, um, so this one will probably be my October scent. And then we have apples and brown sugar. This is so gorgeous. I was really sad I didn't get this scent last year. It is baked apples, brown sugar, and flaky pie crust. So I had to get it this year. It smells so good. Mmm. It really smells like apple pie. So I think this will be my September scent for the sink. And then we have Harvest Gathering. So this one to me smells exactly like Thanksgiving. It's fresh picked apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. Maybe it's the clove that makes it smell like Thanksgiving. Oh gosh, I don't know what it is, but it smells so awesome. It literally just reminded me of Thanksgiving when I smelled that. So those are all the hand soaps that I got. And then on Saturday, there was also a buy three, get three free on body care. So I did get some body care. So I'll show you that next. Actually, first I forgot I did get two hand creams. I've been going through these like water at work, just putting them on like 10 times throughout the day, every time after I wash my hands. So I had to get two fall ones because I'm actually almost out of my summer scents. So I have champagne, apple, and honey. And I had the body care in this last year. So um, I was happy to get this again. I really do like this scent. It doesn't give you the scent notes on it, but that's okay. But um, yeah, I mean, champagne, apple, honey is a classic. 
and I really do like this packaging with like the glitter and the gold down here so and then I found I didn't even know that they had this in uh, hand lotion yet but sweet cinnamon pumpkin so I figured this will be nice to use like in October and November it smells just like straight pumpkin it smells so good I didn't want to get the um, oh, what's it called marshmallow pumpkin latte one um, and I didn't want to get Dahlia. Dahlia is like too perfumey for me. Um, so this was like my next like fall fragrance that I wanted to get. So just went ahead and got that. So those two I paid full price for, but I really don't care that much about that. So it's fine. Okay, so I'm actually really excited about all the body care that I got. So the first thing that is really exciting to me is the Coffee and Cream Body Scrub. So it looks so pretty. The fragrance notes are fresh ground coffee, vanilla milk, and sugar crystals. So, okay, let's compare the fragrance notes to the body care because it is different. So, look, I'll just show you on the back. Screenshot if you want to. But the shower gel is cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. The body scrub is fresh ground coffee, vanilla milk, and sugar crystals. So there's no orchid, no tonka bean. And this is cappuccino, and that one's just plain coffee. So yeah, I do think they smell just slightly different, but really not that much. It still smells like coffee. It smells really good. And I'm almost out of my body scrub, so I'm very excited to be able to put this in the shower. And it is a heavy exfoliator, so I really love the heavy, the medium and the heavy ones are my favorite. So the next two things that I got are Sugared Cherry Crisp. I definitely got this off the recommendation of Tina Marie, True Meaning of Radiance. Um, she said you're going to be smelling like a snack, so I had to try it. But let's just give her a spray. Um, it really doesn't give me the cough syrup kind of cherry um, scent, and it doesn't remind me of Mary Cherry Cheer either. So. I do think it smells really good. I definitely get like a pie crust in this. Um, let's read the notes on the body cream. Bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker, and spun vanilla sugar. So I definitely get the graham cracker from it. It smells so good. Now I do think the body cream smells different from the body spray. It smells a little more like medicine cherry. So I'm gonna try that out. And if I don't like it, I might have to take that back. But look how beautiful the the packaging is it's just so gorgeous so I don't know I'm very excited to like try these out and see what I think but happy to have those and then I have actually never tried these two classics so I I really wanted to get them this year so I got them each in a different formula I got sweater weather in the shower gel and bonfire bash in the lotion so sweater weather's fragrance notes are sun crisp apple autumn leaves and or orchard orchard woods <laughs> Orchard Woods. Sweater weather just smells so good. It kind of smells a little manly, but I don't mind it if it's a shower gel. Uh, it just it smells really good and it makes me think of fall for sure. So I think I'm going to break this out when it starts to get a little colder, maybe the end of September um, or end of October into November, but I can see myself really, really loving this. And then for Bonfire Bash, the notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk. And it just smells so good. It smells like cozy. Like what I imagine cozy smells like. It just smells so good. I definitely get the cashmere musk, vanilla bourbon, sandalwood, and all those scents are scents that I know that I like in other stuff. So combined, they just smell so good. And I'm, I'm really excited to pull these two out. And maybe when I need a break from the you know, like all the gourmand, like cakey scents, I can use those two. And yeah, I'm just really excited to have them to try because I've never tried them before and they are cult classics. They come back every year. So let me know if you have any thoughts on these two and what you think. And if I should get more, maybe I should get the sprays or something. I don't know. So we'll see, but I'm very excited to have those. And then the last thing that I got is actually really exciting because I think it's in the new packaging. And this is warm vanilla sugar. So they're having a new line come out that's um, separate from the Farmhouse Cafe line. Um, and it has, I think, pink velvet cupcake. It has sweet whiskey, warm vanilla sugar, black cherry Merlot, and something else. Um, but I've been wanting warm vanilla sugar. Like I wanted to get it during the body spray sale when they were $5.95, I believe, but I didn't. Um, so I kind of regretted it. 
I've had more vanilla sugar in many different types before um, from a long time ago in Bath & Body Works. So I am just so excited to have this in my collection again. It really does smell so good. Um, and this one actually has the fragrance notes on the back. So let's read those. It's intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. So yeah, I mean, it says cozy, enveloping, irresistible. It really is. It's so good. It makes me think back to like middle school and high school when I guess I had this in different forms. And honestly, I think warm vanilla sugar is like the first thing that I fell in love with at Bath & Body Works. So I'm super excited to have something of it back in my collection. I can see myself probably keeping this for a really long time and just going to it when I need something cozy. But honestly, she's just a staple. She's a staple. I mean, if you don't like warm vanilla sugar, I don't know what to tell you but I love her. She's awesome. So I'm very happy that I got this one and everything that I got, like I'm, I'm giddy with excitement that I got all this stuff. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know down below if you got anything during the past week's sales. There's been crazy sales going on lately. Apparently there might be, we don't know, but there might be a body care sale this weekend. I don't know, I don't know, um, but they've been having crazy sales lately, so I've really been enjoying that, and I can't stay away from the fall stuff. I bought a little too much, but I can't, I honestly can't stay away from fall stuff. It's my favorite time of year. So let me know down below if you got anything, and if you see anything you like, um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.